Hi, this is Maria from Maddie's Web Life. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited to use one of Boulder Bond's sticker kits and we're going to get started immediately because I have so many things to do and terms of getting ready to go back to work tomorrow. I've been off for two weeks. I am a first grade teacher and I am getting ready to really just set this week up. I did my teacher planner earlier this morning and that's really exciting, but I want to do my plan with me for the week of the 6th to the 12th, which is this upcoming week. And then I also want to memory plan or back plan really for this past week in my Erin Condren because I was hesitant about using it and then I didn't plan for what was last week, December 30th to January 5th. So I have to do that as well. Let's go ahead and get started with this. This is a full sticker sheet and whenever we have one of these or whenever I have one of these, I, I don't have enough space to plan so much functionally. So I tend to use a lot more. I realize this is my second time using one, but I realize that I tend to lo lose, use a lot more habit trackers so that I can track the things that, um, or at least the things that I can track with habit trackers. So uh, hopefully that works right there. Yeah, that should be fine. And so that was better than the first time I have attempted this and that was back in during Christmas week. So anyway, um, that's good. I like that. So what I will do here, I think is I prepared my habit trackers like this. I have a couple of these that I want to place down. This is from Polish Patterns. The shop is closed now. I don't know if they're opening that back. And this one is from PM Designs. So all of them kind of like roll like that. So I'm going to start with this one and this is bath time for my baby girl. And technically, um, it's not to remind me, but more so to Mom. keep a record. Yes, baby girl. What is it? Oh, that is beautiful. More so to keep a record of the days that she takes a bath, especially during the um, winter time. Yes, baby girl. Oh, yeah. Those are called jack-o'-lanterns. J, J yes good job and so i'm sorry my husband is trying to fix our um I, i'm trying to use these because i can't find <laughs> my other one but these are like reversible i don't know what you call them and it's just so hard they yeah i'm struggling i need my other ones these are not helping me much but they're better than those so anyway long story short my husband is trying to fix our dryer it's been broken for a while and okay excuse me thank you May, let me see baby i think you have a sticker of mine here she stretched to get out a sticker oh no you're fine and i have i pre planned my stickers around me so i think i thought she had one attached to her arm anyway um i don't know what i was saying i am so sorry guys that i have to stop like that but you know honestly um she has to be in the room with me because my husband is outside and I think he figured out the problem. So we might not need a new one, which is great. This one starts on a Sunday and I wanted it to start on a Monday. So we're just going to go ahead and stick this one here and see how well I do with that one right there. And, um, I think that's good. This one is for Camila's reading and therapy time because she has to read as she's wearing her eye patch for her vision. So I'm gonna track that. This is for bath time tracking. This is for bedtime story. And this is a habit that I'm trying to build. And um, I don't know, I may do one more there. I don't know what exactly, but you know what? I kind of want to. I'm feeling like I should track my gym time here, even though I'm doing it in the back. It just makes me happy to check mark things. I don't know. I'll leave it there for now, but it just, you know, it makes me happy to see um, symmetry. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm using this side for. Then I kind of want to use these boxes right here. But first, I think, 
I think I do want to let me use my permanent sharpie here and then I want to use a pencil board because I don't want the stickers in the back to play a role uh, on how I'm using my ruler so let's see if I can do this um, I kind of like the way the black line looks when I outline it it just defines it so much better and I kind of like that the sharpie does bleed through I think I'm okay with that especially because we're done with the last week and I think we'll be fine and if not then it'll be okay Okay, I had to literally run downstairs and get some milk for my daughter. All right, I'm sorry if I'm panting. Here we go. Um, I'm going to put this one over here. And I wonder if I should start from this side. I think last time I made a mistake. There we go. I like how the black outlines the spread it makes me happy cute love that um i do want to track the weather and i think this time around i'll do what i did a couple weeks back or two weeks ago whatever that christmas spread was um i did divided these into three so what i'll do is i'll use these right here which are perfect for that I love that she includes these and what happens is um, now I can't see it I think this is where it starts like so and so I just kind of am trying to follow the dots that are already in the mm, planner but i'm not sure if that's correct it looks like it is i'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down i wish i would have put those first before outlining it but it's all right things happen for a reason i'm gonna use the pink one next uh or not <laughs> but i'll put this one on the edge i think just or should i do it here i wonder i don't know I really don't. Maybe I pr I'll put it way over here. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just use it here. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure things out here. I forgot how I did it last time. Hmm. Let's see if I can. There. Whoop. Well, I don't like that all right and that way where even though it's smaller the areas are smaller i think it gives me it gives me the opportunity to be a little bit more functional so we'll do let me refer back to that week and i did camila house or to do's Camila to do some weather. So this time I think I will do, I will do weather first and Camila at the end. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So I start with this one right here. Mm, this, this will be for Camila, Camila's schedule.
we will do a Camila name up here. And I think that's the sticker that my daughter took, honestly. I don't see it, so I'll just pull it out again. I'm sorry, I tried to pre-plan and I was not very successful at it, I don't think. Okay, let's see. What am I looking for, Camila? Okay. We will pull one of these small stickers out. And these are from PMD Designs or Peaceful Mind Designs. PM Designs or PMD, I'm not sure. But it's Peaceful Mind. And so this will be for Camila right here. And then I will find the to do right here. Just put the weather over here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And for this upcoming week, I looked it up. I'm going to speed you through this process, but these are printable stickers by Design by Two. I've mentioned this before, but they don't have print and cut files or cut files, not print and cut, cut files. So I just cut them with scissors. So let me go ahead and speed you through that and put the weather in. Give me one sec. All right, the weather is in and I am using these for to-dos. I'm not using the checklist right here. I'll put it elsewhere. I will probably use this in the back as well. Um, and if you've been with another plan with me, you know that I do my weight loss journey in the back and use these. I really love the way the dates are set and I don't feel like I need to cover the dates. So I typically just highlight them. Right now, the only thing that I really want to place down is my niece's birthday is on the 7th. And honestly, I don't think I'm making a presence, but I really want to note it because I want to make sure, oh, I forgot to give my sister her gift, but I want to make sure she gets her gift uh, just because it's my first week back, we have a long staff meeting. Our principal already told us about that. So I really don't want to, um, honestly, I get really moody um, and when I get really tired and stuff. So I just want to make sure that I don't, <laughs> I'm not there tired, if that makes sense. Um, so on the 7th, we have Daniela's birthday. And make sure I note that as well. And if I had a functional plan with me this week, this will probably go under one of those boxes, but it's too big. One of the things that I have to note as well is speech therapy for my daughter on Friday. And I like to note that. I will cut this little bubble out for this week just because I want to make sure it fits here. And as for... Friday the 10th, right there. And then I do want to have Camila's Taekwondo schedule right here. So she's going to a lot this week. Uh, Tuesday, right there. And then on Wednesday, her Eskrima classes start, her weapons classes. And she also has a class on that day so it's gonna be a busy schedule for her then a thursday she is off but i want to make sure i schedule a private lesson for thursday and maybe she can start her leadership so we will see on that and then friday tuesday friday she also has to attend Taekwondo, but it's board breaking. That's why I didn't pull out one for this. Sorry. This one goes on Saturday because I was wondering why I had this little one here. And she has Taekwondo class and board breaking on Friday. So she has a full Taekwondo week and she only gets this Sunday break. And this we're going to work on her science, her project. And I think we will do the final touches on that day and she'll be done with it. I think it's through the third week of January or so. 
or at least that's when I had my students due date. Hopefully I don't mess it up with my daughter. So I have really have to look at that due date. Otherwise we will really mess that up. And I like this little notebook with a pencil or paper with a pencil right here. So I'm going to put it right there. So she's going to be super busy and tired and that's okay. Alrighty, so that's that. I also want to order tomorrow um, my medication. You know what? I'll wait to do my meds all week because I've been really, really bad. So I think I'll wait and then pick them up on Sunday. That way I can see my progress or my levels, if my levels have changed in thyroid. All right, cool. So that's really good. Now I'm going to speed you up through the process of doing my back um, planning over here, or not back planning, my weight loss planning. So all I'm gonna do is kind of divide this in sections, put the dates in, and what will be for um, steps, weight, meal planning and i'm doing the last one now for workouts what workouts i'm doing since i started back at the gym so instead of putting how i'm feeling i think i'll journal that in over here where i'm doing my journaling and pictures so let me go ahead and do that i'll be right back Okay, so just a little bit about this page. It is just to do my weight, steps, the workout for the day, and then my food log or meals for the day. And so I just put a washi here from So Cute Planner. And well, these are the extra pieces from the kit that I just used from Boulder Bond. So that works out really well. And then if you didn't know, I am logging in um and journaling in this tab right here then the next tab i use will be for my dailies and then the last one is just a scratch paper or um just a brain dump or checklist whatever i need to do back there just extra paper so i really do like this i'm not sure what i'm writing there i kind of know what i want to do here now is to do my i want to do my clean um i want to do a clean for my household a clean up a tidy up 15 minute i don't know something um the days that i clean i will feel successful that way i don't have to do all my cleaning and washing on sunday so i think this will be more for my household and that will be great i love having these trackers here and i'm excited about my actual spread it look, it's really nice i'm always scared that i won't have enough space but actually it's the very basics and the bare bones. As you know, I'm using my Erin Condren as well. So this is what's in my actual purse. And then it works really well because I can have, you know, write in appointments or whatever that may be. I also would like to do my February setup because things are coming up at workplace too that I need to input and that way I can have them in there as well. All right, one thing that I forgot to tell you is that I do have my new leather cover or wallet cover this is from asian vintage store and i bought it from etsy shop but they also have it on in amazon so if you just look for asian vintage you will find it and i like it because this is what i use on the go literally i take this and then my spending money is in here and i just have my planner and some stickers in here we went to in and out so i want to make sure i put that for memory planning and uh, um, stickers i need during the week and that's it i really really like it i hope you enjoyed this plan with me i'm really excited of how functional this is i feel really great that it's in my planner now or that i have planned because i am going back to work like i said uh tomorrow so 
this fits in my purse i already did my teacher plan with me so i'm very excited all right guys i'll check you guys out later i have tons of planning videos coming up this week and i uploaded to yesterday so i'm trying to catch up with everything i'm trying to get in the 2020 mood and i have a lot of goals and weight loss journey and mommy life and all of that hot mess so anyway thank you for being here i love you guys please go ahead and press like subscribe if you haven't i would like you to be part of this family go ahead and comment down below that really really helps out my channel i love you guys take care but more than anything god bless bye